dear students today we are going to study about the truth tables truth tables which are bivalued for logical statements i'm dr c sudhakar with you and you are learning with me in b learn math what are the truth values we already put a video on what is the meaning of a truth value and what is the meaning of a statement if you don't watch that video please go back to that video and watch what is a statement and what is the meaning of truth values any statement which is a primitive statement is said to have the truth value t if it is correct according to the common human knowledge otherwise its truth value is false and it is denoted by capital f truth value of compound statements depends on the truth value of its primitive statements and the connectors used in it the basic types of connectors are given below there are three basic type of connectors which we are going to see in this video they are and connector normally it is known as conjunction it is denoted by this cap symbol another one is or connector it is known as disjunction it is denoted by the cup symbol not connector or negation it is denoted by tilde or negate so these are the symbols we are going to use it for the connectors now let us see what is the truth values for these connectors based on the primitive statements first let us see what is the truth value of a conjunction that is and operator truth value of the conjunction is interchangeably we will use the word conjunction and and operator so if there are two primitive statements p and q then the possible truth values are both of them can be true or one is true the second one is false or the first one is false second one is true or both of them are false so these are the four possible cases if you are having two primitive statements in one compound statement now this is the compound statement p and q so the definition is now you have to look for f in these two places if you don't have f you can put t if there is at least one f you are able to find a f then the entire statement p and q will become f for us now the third row there is one f so the final answer is f and in the fourth row two f so the final answer is f you can easily remember like this this is not happy if it is not happy that means false if you are not happy look for f if there is one f final result is going to be f if there is no f like the first line t t coming then only the final answer will become t this is just for your easy understanding so this is the definition of a truth values of conjunction now let us see the second connective truth value of disjunction or easily we can say it as or operator or operator we are going to look for t if there is one t the final answer is going to be t okay so in the second row there is one t the final answer is t the third row there is one t so the final answer is t and in the fourth row there is no t so therefore here we are getting f you can remember this smiley that is when you are smiling with happiness you have to look for t truth value if there is at least one t 
the final answer is going to be T. If there is no T, like the fourth line, you can put F here. And the third basic connector is the negation connector. If P is true, negation of P is F. If P is false, negation of P is true. Just you can remember this smiley as easy understanding. Okay. If this place is black and this spot will be white. If this place is white and this side will be black. Just opposite. So these are the three basic connectors available and some more connectors we will see in the next next videos. Now the conjunction and disjunction are abelian or we can say it is commutative. We can change it. P and Q is same as Q and P. The answers are same. P or Q is same as Q or P. Negation is also, if you take double negation, negation of negation of P will be again back to P. Okay. So remember these rules sometimes we will use it in the next next slides. So these are the three basic connectors available. Now let us see how the compound statement's truth value will be differ based on the truth values of the primitive statements. Consider this example. Find the truth table for negation of P and Q. Let us find the answer for this. If there are two primitive statements P and Q, then there are four chances of true and false combinations. They are TT, TF, FT, FF. Now, first thing is we have to find the negation of P. So remember this is the negation of P truth table. Now let us look out only the P column that is the first column and we can find the answer for negation of P here. That is what we have to find. First it is coming T so we put F. Now this place is T so we make this F, F become T and F become T. So this is the negation P answers. Now let us combine this negation P statement with and Q statement. Remember in the last slide we have seen that and operator is interchangeable or commutative. P and Q is Q. Q and P they are having same answers. Negation of P and Q is same as Q and negation of P. Remember the truth table for the AND operator. When are we are having an AND operator, we should look for F. Now take only these two columns and if you are having one F, the final answer is going to be F. So the first answer is F and here no T so F and here no F so the final answer is T and here there is one F the final answer is F. So this is the truth table for the compound statement negation of P and Q. So we got the final answer for it we have completed. Hope you understood. Now let us go a little bit further. Show that the statements are logically equivalent P and T and P. There are two compound statements. One is P and T and another one is P. The question is we have to show that they are equivalent. Equivalent means they are exactly having the same truth value. Now let us see the procedure how to show it is equivalent. So now we are having only one statement, primitive statement. So P will have only two options P and F. T means that is a tautology that means always true. So that first T we can put it in this cell as well as in this cell. Now we have to go for the 
and operator P and T and operator we have to look for F so the first thing is T and second is F that is the and operator so we got the answer for the first compound statement P and T now we have to compare with the P column P column is T and F just we transferred P to here and the values are taken from the first column now we have to compare the third column and fourth column check these two are same yes they are same check these two are same as yes, they are same that means they are equivalent if any one is different then they are not logically equivalent so of course we have proved it these two compound statements are logically equivalent now let us say one more example now we are going to take three primitive statements to make one compound statement if there are three primitive statements you will have 2 power 3 that is equal to eight combinations possible so they are like this t t t t t f like that there are eight combinations possible 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so there are eight different combinations possible possibly you can have the same arrangement first row is all t last row is all f then there is one f one f one f then one t one t one t okay remember this structure so that it is very easy for you to fill up if you are getting three primitive statements now let us go step by step whenever there is a parenthesis or bracket first we have to cover this so we will take q or r first so this statement or this compound statement we are going to find the truth value okay so we want only the second column and third column so forget about the first column now again i recall whenever you are having an r operator look for p if there is at least one t take it otherwise f so the first column first cell is t now again there is a t so we answer is t here t t t t and now if you look at here there is no t in q as well as in r so this answer is going to be f same like the previous cell the next cell is going to be f so we got the answer for this cell now let us go to the next column so before going to that we have to calculate for the negation of p this part we have to calculate so take the p part and remember this negation of p truth table so whenever there is a t it's going to be negation of p is f so p is f means negation of p is t so t became f t became f t became f now f became t f became t f became t t became f f became t so we got the truth value for negation of p as well as for q or r now the last step is to make one full connective for this and operator now we want to check only these two columns negation of p and q or r remember this is the truth table whenever you are having an and operator you should check for the f if there is at least one f you can take it now the first row there is a f second row there is an f f now here there is no f so therefore the answer is t here t here t now there are two f so the answer is f there is one f the answer is f so we have completed this is the truth value of the statement negation of p and q or r the complete composite statement or we can say it is a compound statement we find the truth values of course we have completed that hope you enjoyed learning mathematics with me please subscribe to this channel for more updates and click the notification button to get immediate notification in your mobile wish you all the best i'm signing up dr c sudhakar and this is your favorite math learning channel we learn